Robinhood shares surging after the company turned a surprise profit for the quarter. Kate Rooney's been tracking the action, joins us with the numbers and some color on this report with the stock up 9.5%, Kate. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, so that profit was in part thanks to more crypto trading volume, but they also saw this flood of deposits for the quarter. Robinhood has really been known for serving this younger first-time trader, but it's now getting a lot more aggressive in courting more experienced, wealthier clients from traditional brokers like Schwab and Fidelity, for example. Robinhood saw $4.6 billion in net deposits in that quarter. $3 billion of that came from transfers in from other firms. That continued in January. The company already topping that fourth quarter total for its highest monthly inflows since 2021, the height of the GameStop era when Robinhood saw a lot of growth. They've now got more than $100 billion in assets at this point. The average transfer balance, this is key, was over $100,000. Key reason, though, cash bonuses for moving accounts. So Robinhood is offering a 1% match on transfers and then a 3% match for some IRA contributions as well. Bears have argued for a long time, really since the company's IPO, that Robinhood wouldn't be able to serve clients beyond sort of the first time more active trader that it's been known for. But as Bank of America put it in a note this morning, the momentum is signaling that it's not suffering from what it calls graduation risk and that it's winning larger accounts. They talk about things like retirement accounts as a positive step towards making their revenue and some of the revenue streams less sensitive to overall macro volatility. Then you got JP Morgan this morning really waiting to see how sustainable these flows are as some of the promotions expire. Others on the street touting cost discipline. You can see that in the share price this morning helping shares. The average price target, guys, rose about 13% on the back of earnings. We're going to ask Vlad Tenev, the CEO of Robinhood, about all of this. We've got an exclusive interview with him at One Market coming up at 1 p.m. Eastern, guys. Back over to you.